Back everyone with the start of the new year. Many people want to start a new diet and lose less extra pounds. Dr. Natalie Johnson with the ETMC First Physicians and Tyler is here with some tips for healthful eating. Good Thank morning. Thank you for coming. Hi. Now with the new year especially, there are so many new diets out there kind of slamming us with, you know, this is the one to pick. How can you know the difference of a good diet? Uh, you really can. I will tell you that anytime you restrict calories and increase activity, you should lose weight. Uh, one good thing you could do is, especially if you're over the age of 30 or you have a significant amount of weight to lose, anything over 20 pounds, contact your doctor and sit down and talk to them because oftentimes they can give you a plan to set out and do um, and be really helpful in which direction to take with choosing which diet you should do and what form of exercise. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of exercise, you know, a lot of people out there, they eat right, but they don't exercise. How important is it for people to actually exercise? exercise while they're trying to lose weight. Exercise is actually very important because it, it at this time of year I also often call it the crash after the holidays. It helps with mood, it helps with circulation, met, met, your metabolism, and it helps burn those calories that you need to to have that uh, negative value at the end of your day where you've consumed less calories but burned more calories to allow weight loss to occur. Oh, absolutely. They don't call it a lifestyle change for nothing. It literally can change your whole life, all, all parts of your day. Now, um, give us a little bit of an insight to the blood work done and how important that is to, to kind of working on getting more healthy. Sure. Oftentimes, if you go contact your doctor, you can have blood work done to look and make sure you don't have a thyroid condition or that you don't have diabetes or some other hormonal condition that can occur um, that would make it hard to lose weight. Mm -hmm. um, although other things that would be important would be if you had an undiagnosed condition, they can find out what that is and take care of it at the same time. And then in addition, if you're already taking medication and you decide to do a real strong diet, you would really need to talk to them because some of the medications you're taking may work against you or you may, for instance, if you're a diabetic and you start dropping your blood sugars, some of the medications can really cause problems like hypoglycemia to develop. So it's really important to possibly talk to them first. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you mentioned diabetes, you mentioned thyroid. What are some other problems uh, that can occur from being obese? There's tons. Um, things you may not think about, but reflux is uh, one of those big uh, items that if you start to lose weight, you may notice that your, your symptoms disappear. Uh, another big one is obstructive sleep apnea, where you know people just think it's snoring, but oftentimes it's actually cessation of breathing for a period of time, and that can have detrimental effects on the brain and the heart and the rest of the body. So by losing weight, you can improve conditions like that. And then another big one would be arthritis, mm -hmm. you know, back pain, knee pain. You lose some weight, and you'll actually have some improvement with those symptoms as well. A long list of problems, but yes. also a long list of reasons to change your life. Uh, new year, new year. Uh, new year, new you. And um, Dr. Uh, Natalie Johnson with the ETMC, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.